Hello, I'm going to show you a function that some people don't know about, and that's partly because the menus don't always show up the same same way, and they're sort of hidden in that sense. So you see right here next to view at the top, uh, it changes when you select a shape. You go up to shape format, and you say, okay, great, I'm going to click on that, and you get over here, and you're looking through things, but I can't even tell what this thing is. This is the one I want to get to. Um, no wonder you don't know because if you have two shapes selected to uh, more than one two or three shapes selected you can get that uh, this menu drop down so this is the merge shapes collection here so if you select union you get Mickey Mouse if I'm gonna hit undo if you select Combine, you get you get uh, Mickey Mouse with these little sections out of it because wherever there's overlap, it's it's empty. So I'm gonna hit undo. I'm gonna select the next one, which is fragment, and what that does is what it says is fragment things. It turns into a bunch of different shapes. Now the next one is intersect. And what happened? Well, it there's no place where they all three intersect. So how intersect does work is if you've got this one and that one selected, and then you hit shape format intersect, you get the intersection of the two. Now you see that's red, so I'm going to hit undo. And the reason it's red is because I selected this one first, then that one, the yellow second so I'm going to select first the yellow one and then the the red one and do the same thing intersect and you see it's yellow I'm going to hit undo and then the last one is going to have that remember I selected this first I've got these two and we go to subtract and subtract takes that first one and subtracts the whatever other things you added after that. So that's that's the basic functionality of merge shapes. So this next slide I've got set up. So I've got a diamond here that I'm going to put over the top of this circle. And I'm going to select the circle first, then the diamond, and then go to that shape format. I always forget to come up to there to that tab to, to get that menu. but. Now you're going to hit subtract, and there you've got a shape that moves as a whole. It's a single shape, and not two shapes on top of each other. So it's a single shape, and to show you how that works, I'm going to go ahead and give that some character. I'm going to give it a top bevel. Uh, let's use that one, and I'm going to bump this up to 20. The, the width up to 20 and that's good and I'm going to hit the depth to 25 hit return and that didn't really look like it did anything but it did when you get down to 3D rotation you see there's some some depth to it so that, that can come in handy for making shapes and giving character to them. Now, I'm going to do something else real quick since I'm, I'm here. I'm going to take that and go up to shape format and then over here to this edit points. So I've got that single shape uh, selected and now I'm going to take this little corner down here and I'm going to pull it down like this and I'm going to take Let's say like in here, I'm going to drag something out like that, and I don't know, take that like this, and so so I've got a sort of like a bird looking thing, and uh, that's just again you can do lots of different things to to the shapes, the edit points and the merge shapes and. Bevel, everything comes together.